school. Oh my god. Now we get, now we get to wait some. I guess I can dick around while I'm waiting for that. It's alright. You won't have to wait too long. Hopefully not. Two is sort of like if we if we keep around, maybe somebody will be tempted by two players. Only two needed. <laughs> oh man. Let me look around real quick. Uh, some more old rap tonight, right? You gonna get some more? Yeah, get it, some more practice for that lively format. Well, it's the last night that I possibly can draft old rap because they just did are going to have the queue disappear tonight. Yeah, it, into the mists. Is the cube died at a two? Yeah. Oh man, it does not last very long. Disappears into the mists and that's gone. Then it, it's gone. So um, I don't think I'll be doing any more cube, mostly because I don't have the time anymore. Yeah, those those tend to go a while. I'm. Uh, I don't know how long my uh, new player points and these sealed events are going to be that useful either. Because were the new players sealed? Will it? Is it always the newest set, or is it just the last core set? I think it's just the last core set. I don't know. Well, as soon as Theros comes out, nobody's going to want to be playing M14 anymore. <laughs> That's generally how it goes, if I remember right. Oh, we're in. I think. Okay, cool. cool. Oh, man, Voldemort 15. The 15th Voldemort. Okay, here's, here's our pool. What happened to 14 through 14? I don't know. Uh, right away, we have a mythic. Devout Invocation. Yo, that card like auto wins the game when it resolves, it just as a heads up. Um, but but it's easy to splash. Also, Sarah Angel. Um, Celestial Flare. Probably compelling reasons to be in white. Um, Mutavault goes in any deck. Black looks a black looks a bit deep just from looking at it, but let's look at white because of our yeah, auto say, car. Go colors. Um, white is yeah. kind of thin. Of course, it's it, white in this set kind of is. Wow, you are the king of opening like a, just a pile of artifacts. Oh man, I did not even notice. Well, dark stealing it goes in any deck. Gray ogres. I will play those. The world. Oh, uh, man. Bubbling Cauldron. I like that card. Uh, stuff that is playable in white. Um, we play walls until we can resolve Devout Invocation. Well, that's definitely a plan. Uh, um, you could play, like, Hive Stirrings to have two dudes to tap to it. I, I don't... Honestly, you can also just get away with splashing devout invocation. Yeah, just splashing. If that, if it... All these double hive strings, double sliver construct makes me want to look for a sliver, though. Because that could be like a side plan. Let's look mm, at other colors. There's... Like, no slivers in white. Uh, but... No good ones. Um, okay. Green is pretty open. Uh... Times three green doom blade. A dork. Advocate. Ah, hello everybody. Triple deadly recluse. Yeah. Um, Advocate. Double howl. Double howl. Spore mound. I don't know if I would play both howls unless it was like mono green. Yeah, troll hide is a fine card. Um, Weirdly enough. All green gives you is like this. <laughs> is honestly the triple. Yeah, that that's pretty powerful all by itself. Though I think that's a lot. But. Yeah. Um. Let's look at red. Red has good slivers. Red is very very thin. Wow. Your I, red has uh, uh There's like only ten cards. It has ten cards. I would play all but one of them. <laughs> Oh wait, no, I would not play Wild Guess. I'd play 80% of my red. Uh, let's look at blue. Blue is pretty deep. 
like uh, Disperse, Div, Scroll Thief, Time Ebb, Condor, Warden, with Sarah Phantom Angel. Warrior, Claustrophobia. And we could be, uh. Does Jace's Mind Seeker. I don't actually care about that card too much. It's a big creature, but. It's a big flyer. It's, yeah, it's a big flyer. It's a big flyer. It, it's worth playing because it's a big flyer. Also, uh, you have the warden to make it. Make him cheaper. Um, had some flyers in white too. Blue white flyers. With one warden. No. Let's see what that looks like. Coral Murpho can go in for now, even though he'll be like among the first cuts I will ever make. Unless Basically. I um. Oh man, show of valor. We have the we have the we have the bubblegum baby if we want it. No, no. Abyss hunted really That's wants terrifying. us to be green. Uh, Ormancer grabbing what? Claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. That isn't that bad actually. <laughs> Oh man. This this is a weird pool. Like I guess I can stick hive stirrings in as like kind of a grey ogre. Divine divine fake. Super fake yeah. super fake grey ogre. Super fake grey ogre. Um It's twenty f this is a this is a deck. It's twenty four cards. Ain't good. Ingot. Ingot goes exactly directly in. Yeah, Ingot does. I could so cut Coral Merfolk. <coughs> Why well, said? He's like the first guy I would cut. Um, this is a weird looking deck. Our three is enormous. Yeah, Jesus, like, because this goes over in three two. Your singular wow, okay, like thirteen cards on three. Yep, thirteen on three. I I don't think it's going to change whatever I, other color we do. We have uh, claustrophobia, it, uh, celestial flare, and what does green look like with the blue? Disperse. Let's look at that. Let's get white out of. Oh wait, with the green, blue, and splash for divine invocation using. Yes, ingot. yes, using the dark steel ingot. I like that too. If I had another that, that's if I had another ingot, I would also put Sarah Angel in there because that card is real. Um let's look at green again. Because your green was a bunch of like two drops, which would make that curve look a lot less three. Um give me actual converted my Elvish cost. Mystic. I don't know. It's pretty three still. Um, that's I have it includes to make. Oh god. Um, <laughs> I think if I'm playing green, uh, I'm playing glade. Howl. Yeah, how a howl can go in. I think if I'm playing green, I'm playing glade cover scout. As gross as that sounds. Or like ranger, or like. Hmm. So I have two more cards after this. Like, a main deck naturalize is fine, but... You have one more card after this. I have 23. I have 23. I keep thinking 24. A troll hide. A troll hide. It's either that or... Or a plummet. Or a plummet. I'm not that afraid of other flyers, because we have flyers. The, um, yeah. And times three deadly recluse. I'm not that afraid of flyers. Basically, this deck looks like it stays alive really, like I, forever. Yeah, I think it like makes trades and stays alive until it can draw a planes, a dark steel ingot, either one of those, and then six other lands, and then it wins. <laughs> Spore mound. Is very good with that devout invocation. Yes, it is. Do I have any other token gin? Like, actually, double hive strings isn't bad with devout invocation either. 
but I'm not putting that in this deck. Um, anything else to consider? A fog, if we're stalling. I don't know what would come no. out for it. I think we stall well enough without having to play fog. Mutafog comes in. I like him. Yeah, Mutafog can come in. Um, I guess Elixir if we're doing like super stally moves, but we can, I don't think we're an Elixir deck. I don't think we're. If we had a lot of more spells, that would be cool. Okay, let's uh, sort by color. Let's look for lands. We're heavy on blue. Yeah, but that that dark stealing did kind of helps. Um, see what suggested Tron says. Eight seven one. I think that's what I was gonna say. Is there? A yeah, Kaz. The thought on adding that second howl is the green is already like the light color. Yeah. I'm not. I yeah. don't know how impressive are the howls are out of this deck. They're like two or three guys, yeah, which is, is fine. They're two or three guys, but we also like really need creatures, and it's a creature. Like I can put in Sliver Construct, or let's like Coral Merfolk. Oh, I man, Coral. Uh, coral Merfolk for Howl of the Night Pack. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel <laughs> that sounds like a terrible strategy. That sounds like the saddest thing ever, which is why Hell of the Night Pack is in the deck. I mean, if I put seven forests in there, I'll get like two or three dudes out of it. Two or three. That's six power, often. Roll with it. Yeah, roll with it. Add these lands. This is a weird deck. So the idea is stay alive with deadly recluse on the ground and a bunch of flyers in the air, and uh, then at some point, invocation gets cast and you win. Yeah, basically that, or like, um, I don't know. I think Glade Cobra's Cout makes me so sad. Um, a trained condor can win you the game with other creatures. Yeah, that's her plan. Yeah, yeah. that's her plan. <laughs> Yeah. That is awful. I'm submitting this weird deck. Train Condor, if you look closely at the art, has a little skull by his feet. Oh, man. He does. Is that a tiny skull, or is that, like, the biggest 2-1 you ever did see? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um. I could... I could make Mutavault a man in order to tap him for devout for devout invocation. If you have that much land, yes, yes, you can. Well, I'm stalling. I do pretty. Good. I, know, I, I know. do pretty well at that. Like it's nine. Yeah. It, tr troll hide on Glade Cover Scout stalls um, pretty damn well. Point. Good point to look at with that Mutavault. I always try to bring it up. Um, it does have one interaction on its creature types. It's a sliver. Advocate of the beast. Oh, it is a beast. It's a beast. It is a beast. That it's is a, importantly a beast. We're kind of a control deck, but control deck loves man so lands. If you <laughs> Every deck loves man lands is the real thing. Yeah, yeah. Dare I take out a land? Like, I guess my curve is, my curve is super low, but our top end is super important. Like, I really want to make it to at least five, and then I... Actually, I desperately want to make it to seven. I'm, I'm not going 16 land here, I don't think. I believe in the power of hero planes. Roll this good. Like, I, you... I, you I, I, want to hit that top end so badly, you don't want to, like, cut a land. Also... What the hell would you bring in for a land? <laughs> like, um, what would I bring in for a land? Coral Merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> or that, main, uh, main deck uh, Naturalize. 
Troll hide number two. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping land for Spore Mound. He'll be very important in this deck. This this fungus. The art that doesn't actually look like anything. What, Spore Mound? Yeah, it just looks like colors. When I hear the name Spore Mound and look at that art, the first thing that comes to mind is... Uh, the hell's the name of the Super Metroid boss that nobody fights? Oh, um... Spore Spawn. Yeah. I'll s like, oh. even the 100% run of Super Metroid skips that boss fight. Uh, and it's great. Glade, Glade Cover yeah. Scout is in because it is a creature. I mean, I, I guess it could be, uh... Coral Live Merfolk. the dream, suit it up with the troll hide, win the game. It could yeah. it, it could be Coral Merfolk, but the thing is, I kind of like Glade Cover Scout better than Coral Merfolk. I mean, I believe in Pikers. I don't know how much I believe in vanilla Pikers. Mm. Again, I am playing. That, that Piker doesn't fly. I am playing like vanilla bear, though. I guess that is a point. Mm. That's what Voracious Worm Whoa. is. Um, I have a game, I guess. Who am I playing? The, uh, Spore Mound is a lot better than Spore Spawn, though. Spore oh. Spawn just sits in its room sadly until the planet blows up. Uh, uh, we're playing s Stract. Um, I think I keep this hand. Yes, I'm keeping well, well. Hand. Two land, Warden, Dork, Disperse. Flying creatures and scroll thief. I'm keeping this hand. Whoa, curve into scroll thief on two? I like that. I like it. Like, turn two scroll thief? That sounds powerful. It does. Especially since this guy is red. I drew Phantom your... Warrior. Oh man. Island is so st is such a live draw. Okay, cool. Give me the dork. Don't get shocked. Yeah, please don't shock my dork. He isn't shocking. Okay, cool. Um... I'm going to play Scroll Thief. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you even got the Muta Vault. I even got the Muta Vault. Oh boy. Going to draw a card off my. He played Young Pyromancer. Okay. You go to attack into that. I'm definitely attacking into that. Make sure to leave up dispersed mana when you do. Yeah. Um that was not that is not a cool draw. I'm going to play Muta Vault after Yeah. <laughs> Howl! Howl Howl of the Night Pack. I'm howling mad. Howling mad Murphy. Okay. I drew Spore Mound. Well, you might be you'll might be able to cast that next turn. I might. I'm Dragon Hatchling. I don't think I care. Is, is, is there a reason you didn't throw down the warden? To leave up disperse. Although you now that you say the plan, it uh, makes a lot more sense. When I, when I said leave up Disperse, I specifically meant in combat, because at that point I didn't see that he missed his third land drop. Oh, well, okay. Leaving up Disperse, like, actually doesn't do anything. It doesn't do a whole lot. Are you going to attack with your Piker? He's not attacking with his Piker. Okay. Choices. Play Warden. Or go double on in on like 
troll hide on my like love my scroll thief too much like everybody does in this stupid <laughs> format. <laughs> I think I swing and then play warden. Or it might be spore mound if you draw land. We could draw land. Okay, let's let's let us attack. I like attacking. Will you block with your biker? He does not. Weird. I drew a land. I think I'm playing Spore Mound. I like that. It's even a forest. All right. There we go. You can attack me for one, and I can do nothing about it. Disappointing. But however, your scroll thief drawing you like two or three cards this game is uh Our opponent is stuck on two lands. He did he did mulligan to six. Yeah, I think um Hmm. Hmm. Well let's get a one one. Man, more forests. Uh, one, two. Three. Le leave up disperse in combat if you. If yeah. If you do, but troll, troll hide on scroll thief isn't a bad play here. It, it is. It isn't. Uh, I'm going to do that. Scroll thief. Now attack my fit or uh, whatever. I'm going to attack with. I'm also going to attack with Spore Mound. Yeah, that's fine. My creatures. Deal damage. He is not blocking. Well, then you get Warden for free, too, yeah, on this. Yeah, I'm going to play a Warden. Uh, I already played the land this turn, I believe. Let's play, mm -hmm. well, let's play a Warden. Well, that island means you'll be able to actually cast Mindseeker or Phantom Warrior, or honestly, none of it probably matters because you're going to kill your opponent in two turns. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to murder my opponent, you see, because he is stuck on two lands, and the next thing he plays, I'm going to make him replay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if he plays a spell, he gets like a dude. I win! Well, that was kind of how I... Yeah, that's not particularly exciting. Um, I think we just ship it back. We learned nothing. We learned he is a young pyromancer <laughs> deck, maybe. <laughs> Shipping it back. We learned... Oh, right, he messaged me. Uh, land's <laughs> missing. I think I keep this hand, by the way. Got a two drop, a we'll three drop, out. and a five drop. And lands. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's good. He put me on the curve plane. out with a good creature. I was, sure. I was not expecting that. Great, grand. I love it. Young Pyromancer deck that likes to go second. Okay. I don't know if he is a Young Pyromancer deck, but... Wow. Anyway, you get a bear following by... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, well. That card isn't getting cast for, like, five turns. Yeah, it isn't. It might be a piker eventually. I don't know. It probably isn't that useful as a glade cover scout. It, it probably isn't, but you don't make you don't make any use of that hex proof outside of it being a one one. I don't. And it's not like our you don't have like a our opponent you know, missed a land drop again, or did he just no. need it? Oh, he's on the play, or on the draw. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Um, I have choices now. Do I ingot so that maybe turn four messenger Drake? Like that's kind of um. You can do that. You could do Advocate and then next turn Ingot plus Glade Cover Scout. You could... That's probably more efficient is that... Like, you're going to get more damage out of having Advocate of, of the Beast in play right now. That is true. But I'm going, I'm going to attack this man. With my bear. deal damage. And next turn I get to confuse him by playing a planes. Perfect. The plan is going exactly as planned. Oh man! Bolton birth. Did he win the flip? Let's find out. Strike won the flip. Oh no. Oh no. Um, well, I think we can confirm he's a young Pyromancer deck. Yeah, I think he is. Also, I have another choice now. Uh, I like that choice a lot better. Yeah, because you can still make it if you go land or dark stealing it deadly yeah. recluse. Oh no, new timey phone call. Oh, phone. The new timey phone. So our opponent here still has a full grip of cards, and that's a bit scary. But I guess Messenger Drake is going to be able to actually get through for damage. Probably attack with Bear Plus. Like, certainly Advocate of the Beast is a safe attack. I, I think I'm talking back in time, but I certainly hope he attacks before tapping out. I think I failed. Damn it. I have failed. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a safe attack in Advocate of the Beast. You can make an attack with a Voracious Worm as well. That's fine. The Worm is honestly not doing much else. No. Oh. <laughs> can, can you hear him now? He did take an old timey phone call. New time. Oh. Jeez, this is going to be a bit crazy in a couple turns here like right now you, you you can't hear him at all now that we're talking about I forgot to unmute knobs okay I made a tiny misplay because I was also on a phone call never mind okay all right uh, I drew a uh, a forest well, you get to play that and play Messenger Drake and Glade Cover Scout. I do. And you get to, you don't get to make any real attacks. I do next turn though. <sighs> Oof, this is gonna be really I feel Look, okay. Ogre Battle Driver is really strong. O Ogre Battle Driver is really strong, especially with Molten Freaking Birth and Young Pyromancer. <laughs> 
Like I, I really liked Into the Web of War. I believe it was the name of the card, which is that as an enchantment from Kamigawa. But yeah. Cool. I will vomit my hand out. Nothing left versus his full grip. He's got a full grip, but I have, like, a, a pretty okay board. I'm sure it's fine. It's probably fine. No legal targets to choose for Advocate of the Beast. <laughs> we need to find that Mutavolt. Mutavolt will be cool. Okay, he's tapping out. For All right, what is he hasted at you? <sighs> Nothing. No, no. Oh, God, no. Why? I think we lose this game. What the hell? Um. So no, you can kill it. I can kill it. Um. That's Fine. If you attack all out at it, it dies. No matter what blocks he makes, it dies. It does. He, that Jace is secretly okay. at one. But I'm also going to lose a lot of cards. You're not going to lose any creatures on the attack. You'll be, you'll lose one creature into the uh, into the battle driver, and you'll probably lose your Glade Cover Scout into an elemental, but you'll kill Jace. I will kill Jace. Also, he's like, come on, don't do it. Come on. Oh, he did it. Pass. Okay. Okay, what what are you gonna lose? This is a good um, div Phantom Warrior devout invocation. He now knows what the ah oh, the devout invocation's gone and Mutavault. No, I think the worst part of there is that I see eight spells or seven spells. I think I pre combat gonna... bounces Ogre Battle Driver. Ooh. I like how that turns things around. Yeah, that's good. Take no reason to hold That him. way you don't... That way he has to spend his turn playing it again and I get to attack. Also, no reason to hold up anything because I have no cards in hand. So, you want to make just the exact attack that'll kill off Jace? Um... So, I would... I would attack with all but one of your creatures at Jace, and then, like, a voracious worm at him. Yeah. Or not, maybe not voracious worm, but, like, advocate of the beast. Yeah. If I even go in with because Glade Cover Scout, I think it's time. All for Glade Cover Scout is doing is trading with an elemental token this entire game. That's its only thing. Like purpose anyway. Okay, so. that goes in for Jace. Uh, Voracious Worm goes in for Jace. Then Advocate goes towards him. Everything goes at Jace, with the exception of Advocate of the Beast. Okay, that's for the math I had in my head too. Mm hmm. Luckily, luckily, he didn't have enough to actually protect that Jace, which is oof. Which he was so excited to play it that he had nothing to. To protect it with. Also, we know it's draw next turn. Yeah. The attacking him with the final creature is just the fact that you're going to need to attack him. Yeah, for I'm going. Damage, I'm, so. I'm going to have to like race him. Yeah. So yep, he's going to take the trade on the Glade Cover Scout. I I'm fine with that. And then block the advocate that's attacking him. Okay. Okay, maybe that was his one trick. <laughs> other, <laughs> other than the other Long thing. Long live Jace. Jace is dead. R.I.P. Jace. Other than the Molten Birth and battle, an Ogre Battle Driver he now has in his hand. Air Servant. Yeesh. Uh, on the plus side, you've got that reach spider that'll block it on yeah. the downside on the downside that turns off my clock on him unless I draw troll hide 
Well, that won't, like, he can tap it. He, 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 yeah, he can tap it forever, but that also keeps him from playing spells? I don't know, not really. No. I mean, you attack into it with the air servant. Uh, yeah, I attack into it with... You, well, not that you attack into it with the, yeah, with the messenger drake. Um, do I just attack with everything here? I don't actually know if that's a good idea or not. I want. I need to that's clock this guy, but I don't want to throw away creatures either. Yeah, I don't like throw away your board. I like attack with messenger drake. I like that too. Because you th you would throw away one of your creatures for six points of damage on him. I would have his life total almost. But you would not be able to hit with any other creatures again after that point. Ever again! Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Ogre Battle Driver and Molten Birth just tell you to stop, and then. Yeah. I would hold that land except. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Howl is actually a okay draw here. Mm hmm. If that was an island, I might. You're going to be drawing a lot of land, by the way. I am! You have something like eight or nine spells in your grave plus four in play means your deck is actually slightly skewed towards land draws at this point. Okay, here comes the battle master. Yep, haste man is here. He does himself does not have haste. Correct. God, that card would be nuts if it pumped itself on come in. Oof. Yeah, that would be. What the hell? He'd have to be like a one three and no attacks. Um, right. I, th I think I, I think I throw Messenger Drake back into it. Yeah, you, you just keep doing that. Do I hold this island? I have no reason to play yeah. it, really. There's no draw... I guess you can see when you attack with Messenger Drake, but there's really no reason to do anything else but attack with Messenger Drake here. Yeah. Hold up the tricks. Yep. I'm definitely holding Giant Growth. It's Cryptic Command. It de oh, also hold it for Spore Mound. That is also a good point. <laughs> it is cryptic command, isn't it? Uh, this guy has a problem. Whenever you're bluffing a trick, it's cryptic command. He is he is kind of at eight, and doesn't seem to be that inclined to attack and to block my. Can't I mean, you're gonna start running into weird molten birth problems. I but am. Luckily, but they all. They only get the pump the one turn. You're just going to have to take damage. I am at 20, and I am... Can he actually Molten Birth and hold up tapping Messenger Drake? No. Because he's kind of... We're both in awkward positions right now, but... Here comes Molten Birth. Even though... Full grip. Uh, flames. This is bad. Well, it can't kill two creatures. Nope, it, it But it cannot. can kill your deadly recluse and deal one to you. It, it That's what it did. Yeah. It lets him attack with Air Servant, so it's, an ob it's a reasonable play. It is a reasonable play. Do you attack? Yes, he does. Well, what the heck do you have... We know one of his cards in hand is Molten Birth, and he's got four others that are most likely very expensive spells. Yeah, so, um... Yeesh. Okay. He... Spore Mound. Well... Do I attack in with the team just to try to grind him down and then play Spore Mound to get a dude? I kind of like that, actually. That's what I was thinking. Like, just get that damage on there, because that forces Air Servant... He'll go to three from that attack. Yeah. So that'll force Air Servant to either block next turn or tap it down. And then that keeps him from playing Molten Birth, or most any other spell. Yeah. Also, Molten Birth, like, hasty guys, isn't very good against Spore Mountain making one ones. Okay, he's blocking Advocate. That is the correct choice. Mm-hmm. I mean, he doesn't know you don't have any beasts left, but you don't have any beasts left. Immutavault is in the grave. Yep. Um, yep, so Spore Mound and then land afterwards. 
Definitely not playing the island first. I was hoping to catch it before you did. <laughs> tried to do that. Yeah, I, you were like a bit late, but I I know better than that because I saw a man make that mistake. You know, <laughs> he was losing anyways, but it didn't help. All right, let's. I hope he doesn't have a land draw. Is the most. Um, he played Molten Burst. Like, okay. Cool. Did he win the flip? I have like. Did he win the flip? We're waiting. Uh, he chooses tails. He won the flip. Oof. If you draw a removal spell for Air Servant, I think this game ends. Uh, I don't know if, if you I draw. I don't know if I have one. Claustrophobia is in the grave. Oh. Uh, freaking Jace's Mill Five Man. How will let the, you play? How will the Night Pack? <laughs> Ooh. Also, he's not attacking. No, he has to block your Messenger Drake. Or else he loses. Howl of the Night Pack. I would attack with... Attack with, um... Messenger Drake first. Actually, he won the flip. Um... Attack with team? <laughs> Trade off... Uh... Trade off uh, attack. Messing. Attack with team is going to trade off three of your creatures for three of his, leaving the board with just ogre battle driver versus just voracious worm. With and I don't all of the exactly night pack, know. I'm going to have four creatures. And he's going to have three in the next turn. I can maybe attack through his elementals, unless he draws land. Wait, no. Yeah, unless he draws land. Yeesh. So I, off I offer the trade with Messenger Drake. I'm looking at what the full... Actually, Spore Mound, I don't think, will die here. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, um, anything he blocks Spore Mound with, just, uh... Either he trades it with Ogre Bat Battle Driver, or... I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think you're fine with a full-out attack. Yeah. Do it before you play Howl, obviously, in case Ob you draw Forest. Obviously. Okay, let's attack. Obviously. Yeah, I had to think about that, but no, if he blocks with Ogre Battle Driver on uh, either I on Spore Mount, he loses Ogre Battle Driver, and that seems like his most powerful thing on the board right now. Yeah. It's possible he has Disperse, but I think he would have played it earlier. I also think so. This Messenger Drake has been a problem for a while now. He's taking the block on. He's trading with Ogre with Spore Mound. He's okay, so he's going to trade. That's actually really good because that means he's trading off his entire board here. Um, he's going to. Okay, he's taking the double block on Voracious Worm. Okay. Again, uh, all that matters is that he, he his board is going away. Yep. And you're going to be playing Howl the Night Pack as your breaker. Okay, I get, a, break. I get a card. I get another creature that I can cast next turn. Okay. Howl so let's pray for no negate. Let's pray. Um, greed. <laughs> Do it. I mean, if this resolves, I think you win the game. Yeah, I think I, think I do too. Yeah. I will leave up giant growth that I totally drew. Because <laughs> <laughs> all that now that he's at two, all you have to do is connect with a wolf. With a wolf. He finally drew. He oh could, man, he might win the flip. He could potentially have four blockers. Which Oh my god. He drew a land that he finally needed. <laughs> and there's the land.
Okay, here comes Molten Birth. He tapped poorly, though, so he loses. Unless he has another spell. Well, he might have another spell, <laughs> obviously. If he, if he tapped incorrectly, m first make the assumption that your opponent didn't just choose to lose the game. Let's... Yeah. Um... He's... Okay, he's time ebbing. Um... Okay. Oh my god, he'll live. He will live. You get to all-out attack and hit him for one point with a sampling. So he did choose not to lose. He chose not to lose. I drew Deadly Recluse. Uh, let's attack. You drew another Deadly Deadly Recluse. Uh, full of spiders! <laughs> this hundred, I guess that's fair. He's already showed a mythic and an ogre battle driver, so why wouldn't he have like another rare on top of that for his deck? Yeah, definitely. I love you, Shivan Dragon. Well, here come the deadly recluses. March of the spiders. He lost a he lost a flip though. Ah, he oh. lost the flip. He got four casts off that molten birth. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, uh, that's... Yeah. Well, the the time ebbed card wasn't a deadly recluse. The time ebbed card was the Howl token. Mm. I think you've got this, though. There's no, like, pyroclasm in this format, right. so you oh, actually no. need to He said GG. Lion screwed both games. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's a good. I don't know if I would. I definitely agree with that on game one. I don't. He I, I don't, had to mold the six and. Div is a it good. It was card. bad. Oh man, does this pyroclasm come? We gotta land. There's no pyroclasm in this set. There isn't. Um. There, there's. He has nothing. That's actually one of the things I'm not a fan of in M14 is that there isn't an uncommon red sweeper. There but isn't, and I win! Yes! Return yes. to data. Our other games are still going on. You did it. You're halfway to the third pack. I'm halfway to the th third pack. Uh, is this chat still open? <laughs> okay, I think the chat died because I'm no. Wait, there we go. I asked him. Being friendly with my opponents, I destroyed. Or didn't destroy. Played creatures! I played creatures and I won. I think he is. I think he's gone forever, though. That's sad. Let's look at uh, how our games are doing. So, Strict lost against uh, Stump Goblin. <laughs> um, Stump. Voldemort beat Adful. Or Ad Adfu won. Oh man, is that another advertising bot playing Magic the Gathering? Adfu? Adfu won. Adful. Kaz, what was that guy's name? I can only think of reared in metal, MDG metal. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 something metal. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think it was. I, I think it was MDG metal. That guy was. <laughs> <sighs> that guy. BM. <sighs> Don't remind me of Voltorb flip. Oh. Well, that's why I didn't say it aloud. No. One, of, one of my friends was messaging me saying that he's playing Heart Gold be before Pokemon XY, and he's been playing Voltorb Flip for like an hours. E Voltorb. And now I'm and I'm and I'm just remembering the times when I played Voltorb Flip for hours. I know something I can play for hours. Uh, I will try and look for it. I will play my. Virus game, yeah. I think I put it in my Dropbox. Um, 
<laughs> Shit, where do I put it? Uh, Abyss Hunter, it takes a couple minutes for those to actually update, unless it's like the, the final match of the round. It doesn't immediately update those. I don't know what causes it to update. Uh, oh, here we go. Where did it go? Oh no. Give what are you looking for? When we... place. Okay. Are you opening Aria? No. I mean, of, of sorrow, not of... Uh, I shouldn't have trusted Windows. There we go. Oh. Yeah. I see something is being opened. Something is being opened. I've never seen this game. I've... So. It's, uh... It's someone made it for the thread, and it works basically how you would think. I played it because I fear no virus. <laughs> horse, horse, horse. <laughs> yeah, they're all horse. <laughs> I also can't move the window, so it, it'll look weird in the stream. Uh, deal. Okay. A two. Okay, I can't see your hand. If you have a hand, I don't have a hand yet. Um. Hmm. Throw my credit oh. cards away. There we go. It is really simple. What the hell? It's really simplistic, but it's it's chrono bound. Like, uh, let's see. Oh my god, what is going on? Holy shit! Okay, so I'm trying to figure out the rules of this game right now because I've literally okay. The clock goes to thirteen. Oh, all right, you never watched that horrible LP. I I've never watched. I've never watched the the. Oh god. <laughs> What's Staz doing? He, he won, so he turned into Akuma. Ah, crap. Staz <laughs> has it. clocked out. We're, we're about to start, so I'm going to stop playing. Okay. Yeah, as as I, I think I've mentioned, I still have never watched that, uh, that, that LP. So. <laughs> there is a single episode to watch. Which is you, you've mentioned it. I have. I'm going to mention it again. That happens okay. about in the middle. It's two hours long, and it's called the, the Quest for Power. I think that is <laughs> that is that is the uh, episode that. Okay. So hold on. A second. Yes, logical. He opened up Chrono Bind, and I got really confused because I have no idea there how you play Chrono Bind. Uh, you just get points based on a clock, and your cards turn the time. Uh, your card. You, you, everybody plays a card. Whoever has the highest card moves the hand, and whatever numbers get, whatever cards get played, get coins put on that number. And you try to move the hand onto a number with coins on it. And if you do that, you can clock out and win coins. That's the game. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, I guess that now that Abyss Hunted brings that up, I guess I did see that there was an episode that was two hours long that was nothing but a picture of baked goods. Uh, that's, uh, I thought it was interesting that's the, because... the data log. Well, I, I didn't listen to the, the, the it at all. I, I just saw in the description there was a recipe for how to make said baked good, and then I went ahead and made said baked good, and it was good. And th that's my story. I can't and your keep... hand is really bad. It's really bad. Sadly. It, it, I mean, it, it's bad in the sense that, like, any forest would let you keep that hand. This hand, by the way, is really great. <laughs> Deadly recluse! It's stall in the devote invocation. I will take that. Deadly yeah, it was a good baked good. Oh, man. I don't remember. About it. I get to play my vindication. <laughs> uh, you play recluses for days. You play Glade Cover Scout when you have that dark with on the turn. You play dark stealing. It. Yeah. If I draw a land, I'm I'm going to ingot and then Glade Cover. If I don't draw a land, I'm just going to play Deadly Recluse. Mm. I drew land. 
Yeah, you even get to attack with your recluse. It's happening. It's happening. My squire. One of the best squires ever printed. Yes. You even attacked with the recluse first. Yes. <laughs> Ye of little faith. <laughs> and see, he can't even ring flesh this 1-1. One -one. Yeah, that 1-1's one -one's too good. We're playing against Golgari. The Blood Baron. I think I get to stop attacking now. Yeah, unless you want to like trade recluses for that, but... I'm going to save this. Blood Baby on his own does not scare me that much when I have double deadly uh, recluse. I mean, if I don't play it on Blood Baby, he sacks whatever I do play it on. But Yeah, that's my thought. That, that is either way removing a creature. Unless I want to windmill slam claustrophobia on a Grey Ogre and then get in for two damage. Whoa! <laughs> I, I, I think I play deadly recluse here and then stall until I can play Devout Invocation. Just Claustrophobia, whatever's good on his end. Yeah. Use the threat of Deadly Recluses to stay alive. Hope he doesn't play Mind Rot. Hope he does not play Mind Rot. That would probably be bad. Could have attacked with a Recluse there, and he probably would have just taken it, but... Hmm. I want to have creatures to tap. Undead Minotaur. Um. Hmm. Voracious Worm. You don't do much here. Being a bear. I'm really thinking you sooner or later start claustrophobying something just to buy more time, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Do we just bust that nut now on Blood Baby? I mean, I don't have a lot of... I, I'm temp I'm not... I don't want to use it too much. I, I know, I know, I know. You could just play the worm and pass. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. You're in this weird scenario where you want to draw lands, but not... I want to like, draw three lands in a row is really weird. Yeah. That's what board stall is. Mm-hmm. And he has no good attacks either. And as soon as he... might he make them... Oh, man. He's tapping things... Yeah, I guess the thing with claustrophobia that you'll want to save it for is the fact that he's in green means he might have, like, Colonian Hydra or some junk. Here's a creature that doesn't do anything if I claustrophobia it. Wow. At least the 1-1s one -ones can't attack through your team very effectively. However, that really makes the Blood ba Baby a lot more threatening. It does. I drew a land. Okay. Okay, that's a, that's a start. That's a start. Um, it's one of three you need to draw. One of three. Now do we phobia the vamp the vampire? I think with the deadly recluses in play, you're still safe if he plays like some huge giant creature because you can just block it with a death toucher. That is true. And if he attacks with spore mount, I'll just trade voracious worm and glade cobra scout for it. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'm going to claustrophobia the blood baby. Yeah. Well, remember that you don't want to like trade your board off that easily. I, I know I don't because them. I do need creatures, but um, I might just take damage then. Yeah. I don't think he'll attack. I don't think he'll attack either. So let's just play forest and pass. We have options. Brendelbore, another creature that does nothing when I if I <laughs> Okay. Look, man, I sooner or later you're gonna have to claustrophobia something. I 
sooner or later I'm going to claustrophobia blood baron. I don't know why you didn't do it last turn. Ugh. Okay, we're one land off. Okay, now I... Yeah, I might as well do it now. If he plays something huge afterwards, whatever. You play something also, if you have one card. I have one card. If you card. have one card, and he's less, less likely to mind rot you. Yeah, because it's not full value. Mm hmm. He's just going to play like another Blood Baron. Uh, naturalize on my. What? Oh, on his on his claustrophobia. Okay. Oh, I guess your I guess the claustrophobia never mattered. He was always bad. <laughs> Literally never did anything. Okay. Now he is tapping out for Woodborne Behemoth. Whatever. Deadly he's, Recluse is blocked that. He's been missing land drops. So Spore mm -hmm. Mound is Spore Mound is kinda bad here. All you need to do is draw A land. A land. Um, I think I play Messenger Drake instead. Oh, that's fine. That gives you a fifth creature. You can block with it and maybe draw into a land if you, like, not chump, obviously, but... Yeah, I think... Yeah. If he attacks with something, I will definitely... Like, Deadly Recluse can kill off that Woodborne. He's not going to attack again, like... Yeah, he's, he has no reason or no... Kaz, mm, mm. don't do that. Corpse Hauler. Kaz. Kaz. Okay. Why? It's you're gonna be the man else. You're going to summon it, Kaz. And the turn after I play Devout Invocation off my dork, I'm going to draw a land. Plummet. Okay. I guess you I draw a card. I draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> Did you draw the mana dark? Um, I drew disperse. Well, you we can't cast that. I, I I cannot. I guess it's good to have though. It's, it's a fine card. Um, I drew div. I think I div and then hold up disperse in case he does something. Yeah, div divination with like island forest forest and then you probably will draw into a land and a card most likely. Most likely. That's like the the odds on it. I drew two lands. Okay, you get to play a land and pass. Uh forest in case I draw howl afterwards so I can just cackle. Yep. And then you get to use Disperse in case he, like, tries to attack you. I don't oh know. no, he got a land finally. Uh-oh. His board is getting large. His board is large. I could have uh, Dispersed Spore Mound in, in response to the trigger. Wouldn't have stopped it. I wouldn't have stopped it. Mm. I think like dispersing the Woodborne Behemoth at end step might be worthwhile. Yeah, that that might be good. He is he is two lands away from that being on. Like just to make him waste his time recasting it next turn. Yeah, he's also tapping for quite a bit. Or or whatever he does here, I don't know. If he enlarges something, that's the disperse target. Yeah, if he, if he enlarges, then that is great. What the hell? I'm corrupt on Deadly Recluse. That's really sad. It's for Xaxes. Uh, uh damn it, non land. Ah! Yeah. Why isn't that boomerang? What the hell? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> I could save my Recluse. I don't know. I think you'll, you'll let it go. That's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Do you attack? Are you attacking? 
He is not attacking. Okay, maybe you disperse the blood, baby. Oh, shit, I passed through it. Oh, well. That was a misplay. Oh, God, no. Um... Yeah. I'm going to be honest here. You're probably going to take 12 damage as a result of that misplay. <laughs> probably. I think. Okay. I think um, play... You just make three angels. Okay. Uh, play island here. There's no reason to play planes. I don't like the play as much anymore, but you don't have an option. You're going to lose to, like. Uh... Damage soon if you don't. Uh, but yeah, what he's going to do is at least I think what he's going to do is once you devout invocation here, he's that's going to cause him to, you know, attack, attack all out. Uh, because the Blood Baron is still in play, you're going to either lose an angel to it or take a ton of damage from it. Yeah. I think I block whatever he doesn't attack whatever he had, whatever a angel can kill so he has to sack it like there's a ton of stuff on this board that I'm going to take a lot of damage from blood baby you're gonna take like 10 damage from blood baby I lose womp 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 it didn't matter well it it it, it did but well, he, he could have he could have enlarged the blood baby and then sacked his team to it and no i mean the the, the dispersed mattered yeah, mm -hmm. the dispersed was the game there i think i lost anyways though <laughs> if he enlarges woodborne behemoth you block woodborne behemoth with an angel take seven trample and Wait. actually i don't know if you yeah he, he he enlarges blood baby and then sacks everything to it and then i That's have it's not enough to kill you Mm, must be blocked. It's not. Okay. It's nowhere near enough to kill you. Whatever, I'm conceding the game. You're not dead. Okay. I have to. Let's find out if we're dead or not. Make him go through the motions. Okay, he's just attacking with blood, baby. Um. He can sack how many guys to it? One, two, three, six? four, five, six, which is... I think give I... Give him one... Give him one angel, I think. Cause if I he sacks his board to it, you take... You go to, like, four? And then and I... And he loses his board. And then I can beat him to death. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I think he thinks it's an overrun. Uh, you know, like most people in, around here think in large works. Okay. I don't know why he didn't attack with other creatures. Sacking? Sack would be a behemoth. Like, oh god, is he all in on the plan then? Uh, if he's sacking, he sacked one thing. I think he's realizing he made a mistake. Uh, I'm dumb for missing that disperse. I was going, I'm just mashing. Uh, don't do that. Don't do it. It's bad. <laughs> uh, I Can you mash? I feel like I should just click, but when I click, I go too slow. And then Kaz tells me to to hit the, the button, but when I hit the button, the I it's my fault. It is my fault. Whatever. It's a game. Let's see how much damage he wants to deal. The, I mean, he can bring you to four. He brought me to nine. Sure. Who cares? Okay. Scroll Thief. You get to play Scroll Thief and swing for eight in the air. <laughs> I, I think I do that. Um. I really don't know why he didn't start attacking with things like Undead Minotaur much earlier in this game. Um, I don't know either. I don't know how I'm not I, how I'm not dead, or at least not mm. much more badly beaten than I am. Enlarging deadly recluse was the best play ever. Yeah, that is a great play. Oh, 
I, I didn't get a chance to tell you, but you shouldn't play that planes. Probably. You have a spore mound to draw. I do have a spore mound to draw. It's not in the grave. It won't. Mm hmm. He's got a spell for me. I mean, if it's enlarged, you get to introduce him to your trick. Um. Who plays this card? We've seen it a lot in uh, this format. You don't care. I I don't care, and I think I bounce Woodborn Behemoth finally. I think you hold up the Disperse in case of a second and large or something like that. You have no reason to bounce anything anymore now that you're not going to like tap out. Okay, he's attacking with people. Um, oh, okay. Now you might... This is one of those you might disperse times. Um, uh, Deadly Recluse on Blood Baby is to get rid of it. Or maybe on Woodborne Behemoth. One or the other. Um, you could block with, like, Recluse on... Recluse on Woodborne Behemoth, uh, Worm and something on Blood Baby. Maybe just maybe just Scroll Thief on Blood Baby to force him to sack something. Yeah. And then like Bounce Spore Mound. To keep from going from six. He'll sack Spore Mound in response. Maybe he'll do that anyway. Um okay, there's a lot of weird ways you could block. Um How about worm on Worm on baby, uh, recluse on yeah, recluse on behemoth. Take the spore mound, and when he goes to sack, yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, you just disperse. Why even take the uh, spore mound? Oh, you can just throw a glade cover scout away if you'd like. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cause... Oh yeah. Your Glade Cover Scout doesn't do anything. He yeah, doesn't. just go ahead and do that. Um, I will wait for him to do the first move. Yeah. He just took the trade. So if... Oh, perfect. You don't care. You get to save your Disperse, then. I get to save two Disperses. Whoa. Uh, uh you can swing with Scroll Thief if you're feeling... If I'm feeling frisky... And then, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I think I'm going to do that, and then bounce dudes next turn. Great. <laughs> I mean, you still have a pile of angels, and that's good. Yeah, I have. I have the big reason I like. I like swing with scroll thief is that if you hit him with the scroll thief, uh, you bring him to four, which means one angel is lethal rather than both angels okay, needing to be lethal. He's he's going to. Uh, Sack, uh, get rid of corpse hauler. Okay. Yeah, it's a trump block. I think I send him super back in time next turn. You could send him hyper back in time if you wanted to, like, bounce that ring of three wishes before he uses it. <laughs> I could definitely do that. I I don't I don't think I like that, but <laughs> I don't I think I'm bouncing creatures. Well, wait till he rings. See what see what he does. Post. What is this? It's trading post. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> I guess it could gain. It's gonna him gain life. him four life. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. okay. I think I let it resolve and then go to bounce it and see if he just no. Gains I alive. think you. You go to bounce the spore mound and he gains. Look at how much life he goes to if he gains life off it. He goes to uh, he goes to nine. And look at how much power you have on your side of the yeah, board if you okay. get rid of his lonely blocker. <laughs> okay, I'll you just wait till I I'll just the. I'll just do it now. Goodbye, spore mound. He is gone for like a, a while. What 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 do you do, sir? Stump Goblin wins! I was supposed to lose that game. 
I think natural light comes in. <laughs> uh, I think I agree with. If he's got trading post and ring of three wishes, I guess. And that was that was all on the back of devout invocation winning you that game. It was. I think it's time to say bye to Glade Cover Scout, even though that puts me at thirteen creatures. I don't know how much I That's like fine. that. Um. You have Devout Invocation and Howl, which are basically guys. True enough. Well, yeah, I think I ship it back. Roll with it. Um. This is an awkward hand to keep. But it has lots of stuff. Yeah. It's a four lander with Ingot, Disperse, and Howl. <laughs> I kind of like it. Let's Let's keep it. <laughs> We've got like a game to lose to a extremely weird deck. <laughs> Weirdly enough, what you what you were talking about that uh, Taz mentioned, uh, you you do have to play quickly if you do lose this one, just yeah, because. I, uh, I'm at sixteen. Yeah. You're at sixteen of thirty, so. He has no two drop for me. Uh, I've drawn okay. an enormous creature. Oh, damn. That's a really good one. That is. Getting to play that on five is going to be huge. You might, you might like, all you might get is like a free corrupt, but you might get more. Okay. He, uh, he played a undead minotaur. Mm, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Great, grand, wonderful. Um, shit. Do I ingot here or do I deadly recluse? So we're kind of playing for the long game. <laughs> He'll never attack into that deadly recluse. He, he never will. So I think I'm going to. But play the ingot is. The the ingot is the correct play, but he will never attack into that deadly recluse. I'm going to make the correct play. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's just this guy is so deadly scared of it's, deadly recluse, but I like it's Green Doomblade. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, Rootwalla. Okay, that's what the green doom blade is for. Yeah, that's. He's. I'm taking two damage. Mm. Oh no, that's ten percent of my life. I keep drawing lands. Um. Are they forests? Yes. No wait. No island. I have two forests. <laughs> um. I think mm. I play recluse and pass. Yeah, recluse with the spurs up. Now he will never attack into me. I mean, we saw how afraid he was of spiders in the first game, so... It stands to reason he'll be that afraid of spiders in the second game. Also, he missed land drop last turn. He did, and uh, he is... Um, he main combated Brindlebore, and he is not attacking. Yeah, of course. It's deadly reckless. He won't attack into it. Okay, you get to play Jace's Mindseeker for... F I do... Yeah, well, that's good here. You naturalize, wait for him to play post. Basically. Or ring of three wishes. All right. Jace's mind. Cross your fingers for a good card on the mind seeker. If what? not, you just get a four four flyer that mills five. I guess that's fine too. Uh Red Clues, Briar Pack, Woodborne Behemoth, Forest Forest. Nothing, okay. I I Took him a green doom blade and a trick and a big creature. Okay. Now, uh, if you want to be a giant jerk, if he tries to kill your Jace's mind seeker, you have a bounce spell. But that's later. That is later. He's playing a cursed spirit. Yeesh. Yeah, that's a clock. That is a clock. Um. He should attack, right? He is not attacking. 
He shouldn't attack. There's no attacks to make through your 4-4. Four, four. Mm. What's your Spore Mound? Spore Mound, then land. The spore Mound land, leave Disperse up. Uh, wait for him to pre- Swing for four. Swing for four, wait for him to pre-combat a creature, which he will do. And Honestly, you hold the Disperse pretty much exclusively for when he goes to enlarge. Okay, that is a that is a good plan. <laughs> but yeah, Spore Mound plus uh Yeah, Spore Mound land makes it really nice for like you blocking here. Yeah. Maybe you can win by mill. <laughs> With the stupid Jace's Mind Seeker. Yeah, that's what you're you're playing it for, is to win by mill. Uh-huh. Not, not another card that costs double blue. That does unthinkable things every turn. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. Um, this is dangerous. Is it the enlarge? It's a second accursed spirit. Oh. You might want to just bounce the first one before it hits you? I don't know. Yeah, you're right. That is dangerous. That's going to get. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. Quick. That's going to be a very fast clock. That's actually faster than your clock. Yeah, that's. Okay, let's uh, choose a non land. Yeah, go for it. I mean, note that this more than likely means there's a 100% chance that you're going to enlarge next turn. Um, probably. I a certainty. I drew a forest. Um, play your forest, play your hell. Play hell. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Um, Howl of the Night Pack. I need to. I can just play it off the backs of lands. Cool. Yep. And then you can leave up any combat trick. Yeah, I leave like, up. You like a ring flesh. <laughs> yeah, I sideboarded in ring flesh for all his one toughness creatures. On a more relevant note, if this goes to three, it might be worthwhile to side in like sliver construct to block the damn accursed spirits. Um, but he's playing corrupt on what? On oh, that's I bad. Four fire. That's your 4-4 four, four flyer. That's on the, on the flyer. Yeesh. Whatever. I think Spore Mound's attacking next turn. I think Spore Mound and your 2... Yeah, maybe not your 2-2s, two but... What? 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 No attacks. Yeah, you, don't worry about it. <laughs> I feel... This is Don't worry about it. You this, would fucking this, killed it, obviously. This is wrong. This is wrong. I guess you get to, like, swing with I, Spore Mound. I, why did I pre-combat that? Ugh, whatever. Um, I think wolves go in, too. One of them will get eaten by Undead Minotaur, but... One of them will bounce off of that uh, Undead Minotaur for free... And it'll make his combat look a little... Yeah, well, I won't attack then. Mm, I want to put pressure on this guy, though. Considering... Yeah, screw it. Hit him. You are too late in your wishy-washy. Whatever. That... Punch him. He, yeah, he just took Deal it. damn it. I'm not gruel. What am I thinking? Why am I thinking about attacking just... with my team? Damn it. He's not going to attack with his accursed spirit. I have a freaking deadly recluse. Come on, play Ring of, of Three Wishes. Come on, play Trading Post. 
Oh no. He's played a creature I like a whole lot. Hey, it's the dog. Okay. It's, it's a cool dog. Well. Okay. okay. Um, devout invocation looks really good here. Uh, <laughs> really good's an understatement. Yeah. Um, I'm taking. Auto three. winning the game is a little more. To narc, not narcolepsy. Yeah, to claustrophobia, not narcolepsy. That looks really good here too. Yeah. Either draw Devout Invocation or draw Divination into Devout Invocation. I will take any of those. At least you get to swing two in the air. Um, planes. I'm not playing that. Um, you have a Spore Mound in play. Oh. Yeah. Creatures. I'm. Should I attack with Spore Mound? Two? He's already got me three dudes, and if he trades with Witchstalker, I'm happy. Sure. Like, he doesn't have Root Wall Pump Up, which is incorrect, That's by the, the way. If he, if he had Root Wall Pump Up, you don't, uh, don't, it, he didn't have another way of casting Witchstalker. Yeah, true enough. Yeah, because you do need to clock him if he's got the f the five turn clock on you. Yeah, he's he's not blocking. Okay. Well, look, the more damage you deal to him, that the better. Like, even... That makes your ability to alpha strike in a turn or two really good. That's what Brindlebar is for. I'm aware. He's not aware though. Ah oh, man, I feel bad. This game's making me feel bad. Why is that? This man should be murdering me. <laughs> Look, he is afraid. Oh my lord, that spider is the most deadly. Look at the name. It is deadly. He's quag sicknessing my warden. Okay, he doesn't want you flying over anymore. Okay. Well, that does have him dead in four turns. Sadly, your natural eyes looks like a chump here. It does. That. It does. No, man. Also, now he's got pump mana up for root wall. He does. So spore mound is not going in. Draw um, devout. I drew island. Well, you play it and get another sampling. I do do that. Um, I need to put the pressure on this guy. I guess, like, you could attack with that really Recluse if you wanted to try to do that. Uh, recluse, um... Like, everything else just bounces off his team right now. It does, but if he... Okay. Yeesh. I get to take his worst creature and lose Deadly Recluse. Maybe you can kill Brindlebore. I don't think attacking is good here. Okay. Uh, this is awkward. This is stupid. Uh, I, think need, I think I think you lose the game if you sit around and do nothing. I know. You also run out of time if you if you yeah, do I've, that too. I've been considering way too much. I think if I lose this game, I might just lose. Look, do you know how afraid he is of that deadly recluse? He's terrified of it. He's tapping four mana for a cursed spirit. Well, yeah, he's held that in his hand for like forever. Twelve turns. I don't know why he hasn't played it down earlier. I don't know why he played the witch stalker over it. Is the actual uh, end of my sentence there? Yeah. Yeesh. Scroll thief. Yeah, you need to start attacking with Deadly Recluse, at least. Um. Mmm, Deadly Recluse goes in. He has good blocks on every single wolf. So. Yeah. Like, good blocks on yeah. any trades. 
I need to draw a, a Buster card. Are you gonna do? You get to play a scroll. He's doing the block and sack. Mm. Awesome. Cool. You yeah. killed Brindlebore without losing your deadly recluse. Good job. Yep. That yep. was going to happen sooner or later. Also, you're dead in one turn, so you're going to need to... I don't like, think I actually have an out in this game. Even Devout Invocation. Play Scroll Thief. Scroll Thief I'm definitely playing, but Devout Invocation doesn't do it. Um... Damage. You're out is him making a misstep here. He's leaving up Root Wallow. If he's playing in large on his you're, creature you're I can't dead. block. I am dead. Hooray! I don't I don't like the naturalize. I don't like it anymore either. I want I want a creature, maybe. You have sliver construct that could actually block that damn thing. Um, Sliver Construct does do that. Um, Voracious Worm? What is he doing here? He's a bear. Should I re replace a bear with a gray ogre? <laughs> but it's a, it's, it's a bear. It's, I know. E. Um. Mill plan. We do have Tome Scour. Uh, if I had anything worse, Frost Breath actually wouldn't be bad. That would have bought me time. Yeah, I don't know what you do with it, but yeah. Mm, I think we ship it back and do better and do better and very quickly. I was gonna say play fast. Uh, yes, I'm gonna I'd go like with play to, fast. I would like to go first. I'm going to keep this. Beautiful hand. Keep the hell out of that. The Elvish Mystic is already on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And you get to play Advocate on two. Mm hmm. <laughs> you have a two drop. F He's got no two drop for me. So you're going to play Sliver Construct and attack for three. Yeah. It wasn't Colonian Tusker. No on time yes. Colonian Tusker. My obviously sided board Sliver Construct. Aha! That trades for your three two that you have two of. <laughs> yep. He's off black. Well, it certainly is better than you holding a naturalize right now. Uh, he has advocate. No, oh, well now you can't attack. I cannot attack. Uh. Uh, forest pass. Okay. Try planes. <laughs> <laughs> At least I, yeah, well, the fact that you're holding your auto win card is really good here. I like that. I, I like that too, uh, Brindlebore. Who cares? You forests. blocked that with your tooth. Keep drawing forests to make the howl better. Yeah. That could be an out, because I'm on. You can cast it next turn. I could cast it for three two twos next turn, which is actually not bad. If I forest next turn, it's even better. He's played Spore Mound. He's not attacking, even though I... Are you attacking? He's not attacking. That's what I thought. Why would he attack? I don't know. Why would this... Ingot? Um, the what? Ingot? Ingot. I think I Ingot and then uh, play Devout Invocation and win. Wait, do I howl first so that I can... 
Howl first here. Okay, howl. I'm going. To just, I can't howl. I have to. Gee, I think I ingot then howl and then. I can't do it in two turns. Whatever works. Okay. The big thing is I don't. Yeah, ingot then the howl then. Because that also gives me a chance or to actually, draw a forest. No, 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 no. Howl first. Okay. That way, next turn, if you draw a spell that you can play, you can ingot then that spell as well. Okay. Rather than wasting your mana. That is wasting mana, I guess. Hmm... And I guess divine it's, blow out. It's the same speed. Um, he's tapping things. He's tapping things past his uh, trigger for spore mound. He's trying to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> like, wait a second. Yep, he's gonna have to untap all his lands. Yeah, or or just draw planes. Plains, plains is beautiful. Uh, Woodhorn, Woodhorn Behemoth. Okay, whatever. You're too slow. Phantom Wario, I can play you off the See? back of Dark Steel Ingot. Yeah, you get to Ingot, and then Phantom Warrior, and then you get to make seven angels next turn. I did not want to attack. No, thank you. Weird. Devout Invocation's good. Yeah, it's good. My Mythic I opened is really good. <laughs> like, gee, I wonder how often that happens. Then again, he opened, like, Rink of Three Wishes. Witchstalker. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How much am I actually taking next turn when I tap out to make angels. You're making seven angels, so you're not taking it. Like, you're blocking with a bunch of angels. Who cares? I think I would just take Woodborne Behemoth rather than trade an angel. It, it might get pumped. Um, Disperse. You sadly can't cast Devout Invocation and Disperse. I cannot, so let's, ca uh, let's cast oh, the, let's cast a Devout Invocation. <laughs> don't tap your Elvish Mystic. I'm not going to. Well, I mean, well, tap it for it, but don't tap it for mana. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean. Hooray! My spell! <laughs> my absurdly powerful spell! Okay, that's everybody. There's like a s tiny delay between when you click on something and when it actually clicks. Okay, Voldemort, show me your magic. You've got the power of plummet. infinite angels. Oh no, plummet! Now you're down to six angels, which is still lethal. Plummet, double plummet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's still lethal though. Plummet, plummet. Plummet, plummet, plummet. <laughs> um, how much am I taking here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You, fuck up. you have angels. You have angels. Yeah, I know. I'm. Um, Don't just take the hit. Randomly die. See. You. They're your best creature and also your advocate. And sapperlings. Cool. Pretty much can kill almost all of his dudes, so... Um... Sure, Spore Mound. I don't actually want to block Blantle Boar. That would be... Okay. I don't want him gaining life with Brindle Boar, even though he can do it at instant speed. GG. Yep. 
I have new product. That was not very good, but I cast an awful spell and won the game. You know, Does that put you at the three? Uh, that brings me up to three. Also, um, the games I lost, my opponents cast an awful spell and they won. The games I won, I cast an awful spell and I won. Because I think, I think the games I lost, I lost to enlarge. You didn't lose to Jace. I didn't lose to Jace, though. I beat Jace to death. You punched him. I punched him with he my creatures. He also, showed his face on the battlefield. Ooze. My oh my god. Human ooze. That art. That art. That. It's like a merfolk. It's, it's like, like a merfolk face. It's like a merfolk ooze, or maybe an elf ooze. It kind of looks like Robert that Zadar, if you look kind of close at it, like his cheekbones <laughs> and his chin. <laughs> Robert Zadar is definitely think, a news. I think that's a stretch. I think that's a stretch. A stretch, it's... you say? <laughs> Anyways, I don't feel you... like it. I have I have product, but I don't feel like a draft. Uh, there is cube later today. I feel kind well, of bad. Cube. Uh, not cube, Rav. I feel kind of bad for playing this. Playing poorly. <laughs> That's why I feel bad. I played poorly, but won because my opponents were not very good. E. Well, thanks for joining me, Sly09. Thanks for joining me, Zoo. Glad you could yeah. all come and watch me do poorly. We do not cut poor playing because that's all I do. Anyways, thank you for showing up. I'll be seeing you guys later for Roll Drive and goodbye. Support esports. Support.